Arabia is the birthplace of Islam, one of the largest religions in today's world, but the peninsula had a vibrant history even before the advent of Islam, full of other faiths, tribes, intrigues and wars. Join us as we dive deep into the history of this mythical land. Like, subscribe and turn on notifications for more sips of fascinating history. The history of the Arabian Peninsula is a rich and complex one. The arrival of Islam in the 7th century would forever change the destiny of this part of the world. But even before Islam, Arabia was marked by a diverse array of cultures, religions and political systems. Located at the crossroads of Africa, Asia and Europe, Arabia has been a hub for international trade since antiquity. Surrounded by the Red Sea to the west, the Arabian Sea to the south and the Persian Gulf to the east, the region's geography is characterised by vast deserts which cover much of the peninsula's interior. Despite the inhospitable terrain, some fertile areas such as the mountainous regions of Yemen and Oman and the coastal plains of the Hejaz region allowed for the development of agriculture and the emergence of ancient civilizations. The economy of pre-Islamic Arabia was primarily based on agriculture, pastoralism and trade. The Arabian Peninsula's strategic location made it a vital hub for trade routes connecting Africa, Asia and Europe. The incense route, which facilitated the transportation of frankincense and myrrh from southern Arabia to the Mediterranean world, was particularly important. Additionally, the spice trade from the Far East and silk trade from China passed through the region bringing wealth and fostering the development of cosmopolitan urban centres like Petra, Palmyra and Mecca. From antiquity, the Arabian Peninsula has been inhabited by nomadic tribes who relied on hunting and gathering for sustenance. Over time, these tribes gradually adopted pastoralism, herding livestock such as camels, goats and sheep. This state of affairs would continue for a long time. But as great civilizations grew up around them, the Arabs found themselves in control of the lucrative trade routes connecting the Mediterranean world with India and the Far East. Many kingdoms popped up along the coast around this trade, known for their advanced architecture including massive dams, temples and palaces. But in the rest of the Arabian Peninsula, various tribal confederations continued to dominate, competing for trade routes and water sources. Pre-Islamic Arabian society was predominantly organised around kinship groups. Life in ancient Arabia for the average tribesman was shaped by the harsh environment, tribal affiliations and the need for survival and cooperation to survive the realities of desert life. Like, subscribe and turn on notifications for more sips of fascinating history. Tribal affiliations played a crucial role in the life of an average tribesman, providing social cohesion, security and support. Members of the same tribe usually traced their lineage to a common ancestor, and loyalty to the tribe was a significant aspect of one's identity. Tribes often had their own set of customs, laws and traditions which governed the behaviour of their members. The tribes were nomadic, moving from place to place in search of ever scarce water and pasture for their livestock. They typically raised animals such as camels, sheep and goats which provided milk, meat and other products essential for survival. Camels in particular were well adapted to the harsh desert environment and played a vital role in transportation and trade. These nomadic tribes used tents made from goat or camel hair for shelter from the harsh desert climate. These tents were usually divided into sections with separate spaces for men and women. The diet of an average tribesman was heavily reliant on their livestock. Meat, milk and dairy products like yogurt and cheese were staples, supplemented by dates and other locally available produce. Bread made from wheat or barley was also common. Water was scarce and tribesmen often relied on wells or seasonal water sources like wadis. Besides herding and tending to their livestock, tribesmen were often involved in trade, particularly those living near trade routes. 
They might have worked as traders, guides or caravan guards, facilitating the exchange of goods and information between different regions. Poetry held a special place in the hearts of ancient Arab tribesmen. Pre-Islamic Arabic literature was primarily oral, with poetry being a highly respected art form. Poets were highly respected and held a prestigious position in society, and their work often dealt with themes such as love, friendship, tribal pride and warfare. Stories and legends were passed down orally, serving as a means to preserve tribal history, values and traditions. Intertribal conflicts and raiding were a harsh reality of life in ancient Arabia. Tribes engaged in warfare to assert dominance, gain resources or settle disputes. The average tribesman was expected to participate in these conflicts and martial art skills like horsemanship, archery and swordsmanship were highly valued. Before Islam, the religious beliefs of Arabs varied greatly. Pre-Islamic Arabian religious beliefs and myths include polytheism, which involved the worship of multiple gods and goddesses. Most people were polytheists and each tribe typically had its own set of deities. Worship involved rituals, sacrifices and the veneration of sacred sites. Each tribe typically had its own set of deities, often associated with natural elements such as water, fertility and celestial bodies. Some of these deities were worshipped across different tribes and regions, indicating shared religious traditions and cultural exchanges. Among the widely worshipped deities in pre-Islamic Arabia were the three goddesses, Al-Lat, Al-Uzza and Manat. Pre-Islamic Arab beliefs also included supernatural beings called Jinn, who were believed to inhabit the desert and other remote areas. Jinn could either be benevolent or malevolent and were often associated with possession, illness and misfortune. Ancestor worship and funerary practices were common, with tribes venerating their ancestors and conducting elaborate funerary rituals. Astrology and divination played an essential role in pre-Islamic Arabian religious practices as stars and celestial bodies were believed to influence human affairs and natural events. Monotheism also existed in pre-Islamic Arabia. Some Arab tribes, also known as Hanifs, adhered to a monotheistic faith that worshipped a single god, Allah, without associating partners or intermediaries. Additionally, Jewish and Christian communities existed in the Arabian Peninsula, particularly in the southern regions and the city of Najran. The Kaaba, located in Mecca, was a popular religious site and housed numerous idols representing various deities. As a hub for the prosperous trade routes, Mecca was a rich city. It was controlled by the Quraysh tribe, which was a powerful and influential force. Their control over Mecca, both as a trading hub and as the centre of religious life, gave them significant power and authority. Though polytheists themselves, it is from their midst that the Prophet Muhammad came, bringing with him Islam that was to change the destiny of Arabia forever. The period of pre-Islamic Arabia provides a fascinating glimpse into the complex and diverse history of the Arabian Peninsula before the advent of Islam. The region's strategic location as a crossroads for trade and its rich cultural history laid the groundwork for rapid expansion of the Islamic civilization in the centuries that followed. The diverse and often tribal nature of pre-Islamic Arabian society, along with its unique religious beliefs and practices, contributed to a complex and fascinating tale. In summary, life of the average tribesman in ancient Arabia was shaped by the harsh environment, tribal affiliations and the need for survival and cooperation. Daily life revolved around the care and protection of their livestock, participation in trade and adherence to tribal customs and traditions. Ultimately, the study of pre-Islamic Arabia offers a window into a fascinating and complex world. By understanding the region's history, we not only enrich our knowledge of the past, but also gain a deeper appreciation for the diverse cultural heritage that continues to shape the modern Middle East. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this little sip of fascinating history with your friends. Thanks for watching.